Okay, uh, I think I might be back. My internet cut out. My back. That sucked. Internet just totally took a dump. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Maybe you guys can hear me. Hopefully you can. I don't know what happened. My internet just completely cut out for a minute there. That was. That's a little scary. I always go into that like instant panic mode where I'm like, oh my god, did I forget to pay my bills? Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. Alright, looks like Ionis has been kind of helping you guys out a little bit. Uh, these words really aren't used all that often, but they are kind of handy to have occasionally. Um... And they can be used as, as as often as you want in any order. Once you've used one of them, it completely changes the rest of the order. So, for example, if you were to say uh, e fe, which marks the X2, fe, uh, ti do, fa, mi, dunda, fe marks the X2. So, T is X2, which if you guys remember dunda, it's the thing that is being given. Uh, the counting then starts after the X2, so the X3 is DO, the person to whom something is being given. FA takes you back to the first position. MI is the person who's doing the giving. And then, of course, at the end, DUNDA, you see what's being done. So this actually means the exact same thing as well, even, if it's, even though it's more convoluted. Again, these are really not that important to master at this point. They're not used all that often but they can be used to jump around if you really wish to. So going back to this example, we have x1, x2, x3, all in order. Fe marks the x2, so this is the actual x2. This is x3 afterwards. And then this marks the x1. X2, X3, X1. Yes. And yeah, there it's vowel it's vowel sequential, which is why it's easy to remember. Fa first first vowel, second vowel, third vowel, fourth vowel, fifth vowel. Pretty simple. Um This is a little it's a little hard to convey this one. It's a little confusing, so bear with me here. But I'll try to explain it again. So this is again our this right here. Okay, so this is the familiar. This is the structure you're familiar with right here. I'm just gonna clear everything else off. Imi I give this to you. Okay, using the fa, fe, and fi markers to mark one, two, and three. We could just mark each position if we really wanted to, which would be fa mi x1 dunda fe ti fi do. It's a little wordy, but it, I mean it works. You're not changing anything here. You're marking the you're marking the first sumti explicitly. So fa mi first one, fe ti second one, marked explicitly but for no reason, and then fi third one do. And then if you really wanted to, you could just move these any order you wanted to. Fi do dun da fa mi fe ti doesn't matter if you really care to, but it's kind of pointless. The point is that when you use one of these, the counting then continues the same order afterwards. So like I said, if you mark the second one, then the next sumti is automatically assumed to be the third one. So here I'm marking the second one. The next one that comes up is automatically the third one. If I want to get back to the first one, I just have to mark that one specifically as well. And do you ever need them? Uh, technically, you don't ever need them completely. I mean, there are places where they are useful, though. I mean, there are some sumti that go all the way to an X5, and if you if that's the only thing that's relevant for you, sometimes it's easier to do that. All right, you're getting a little confused. Okay, well, I can try to help you. What part of it is confusing? These are markers. Never process the kind of markings as fast as English in this month. Yes, you will. They are very easy. I promise you. Promise you. They're not needed, but they're useful.
Mars Striker busting out the Rage Quit. All these do is they mark the positions that are already defined. Missing the first two hours. Yeah, you've kind of missed the basics of it. You have to go back and watch it. And you'll be able to fast forward through all the boring stuff, which is the entire thing, so you won't be able to watch anything. So, all right, let me let me go through this step by step. That's okay. These mark different positions. Let me actually find let me find a really good let me let me find a very good sumti or a very good celebrity celebrity to give an example of one you want to skip around in a lot. Looking through the list of looking through a list of sober right now. Um trying to find like a good X four. Help me out here. Klama. Yeah, Klama without low is kinda hard to do though. Don't please don't give examples with <laughs> doesn't help when you do that, man. <laughs> Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Ah, we'll do this one. Beat moo. Nice in the beginning of the uh beginning of the alphabet. Beat moo. Beat moo is X one is a wall separating X two and X three. in structure X4. Uh, so this something is a wall that separates two different things in a certain structure. So you point to the wall in your kitchen and you'd be like, this is a wall that separates my kitchen from my bathroom in my house. So I could say, if I wanted to make it really simple, I could say ET bitmu fo T. Different T. Or ta. We'll do, we'll do that. That, which I'm pointing to, is a wall in this, which is my house. Okay? So you can say that is a wall, and then fo, which skips to the x4. We skip we skip the x2 and x3. We don't care what, what the wall separates. I'm just telling you that that thing is a wall separates two things in my house this ita bitmo faulty all it does is it skips the counting to 4 fo takes you to fo in the counting i right? Or yeah, you could, if you really want to, you could be like, this is a wall that separates me and you in this building. That is a wall that separates me and you in this building. You could do that if you really wanted to. More likely it's going to be separates your kitchen and your living room or something. Anyway. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I just uh, so the the idea is that these that that fa fa fe fo fu fa fe fi fo fu uh mark the x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5 positions and they can be used pretty much anywhere. And that's all they do. And once they've marked something, the counting of the words continues from that point. So if you mark the x4 and you say the x4 the X5 will be next, unless you specifically mark otherwise. That's pretty much it. Not as hard as you might think. Hopefully that covers it. Anybody else have any questions? Seriously, I'm not trying to rush anybody here. If you if you still don't get it, I will try to help you out. So please let me know right now if you're having issues still.
fa fe fi fo fu. Okay. So, so far, we have learned that when you have a bridi, no, say I'll wait for, I'll wait for afterwards. Uh, I'll do Tanru uh, next. Uh, Bitmu is another, uh, that is a Selbri. It's a wall. In that case, it's a separator. <laughs> Bitmu is another Selbri. Same, it has place structure, which I just said, which is X1 is a wall separating X2 and X3 in structure X4. I'll do Tanru and then I'll do Lo. Sa is good with low because uh, Sa is actually a position where low, low is useful. Uh, scratch that, reverse it. Uh, Sa is actually useful when you're using low to make Sumti because for obvious reasons. Uh, okay, so I think you guys got Fa and its brethren taken care of. Okay. Um, one thing we haven't really been able to expound upon is a little bit more of a description to the relationship. Okay. Uh, with the celebrity, you set up the whole sentence. You got it, buddy. It is the it is the foundation for the structure of the sentence. That is correct. Grammatically, these two sentences are not very different. You can see they have more or less the same words, they have the same structure, but they mean completely different things. Uh, well, actually, let me, use, let me use two things that have the same syllabi here, or same bridi, or uh, uh, sumti. I talk to you and I am a friend of you. Two completely different things. But the grammar is very similar. And it's this word here, which is the, again, it's easier to identify it as the celebrity because it's got five letters. Just keep that in mind for now. It's a bad it's actually a bad guideline, but it's the best I can do for now since I'm kind of constrained for time. The word that has the five letters is almost always gonna be your celebrity. In fact the word celebrity is a celebrity and it's got six letters, but it doesn't matter. For now, trust that this is the celebrity because it's got five letters. It's the easiest way to explain it. So Imi tavlado. I talk to you. Imi pendodo. I am a friend of you. Okay. And then we also we saw what else did we see? We saw it zdani mi. This is a house for me. E. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, oh, iti blanu. This is blue. See it, Darpaj. You can watch it in the archive. It'll be archived. It'll be in the archive. So four different sentences with four different subjects. Uh, uh, oh, red. Red is chunre. 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 It's red. Chunre. Teach was stusha. Imi stusha do. I teach you. Yes, the grammar are exactly the same. Grammar is exactly the same. Okay, five different examples here of different sentences. Um, I'm going to teach you what are called tanru. It's very hard to pronounce this word correctly. I always want to call it tanru because it looks like it's hard to break this up from the English mindset. These are tanru. A tanru happens any time this is very important I'm gonna pound this into your head right now any time that two celebrity are adjacent to each other in a sentence this is a good thing but it's important to note that it happens any time this is this this is the very important part Tanru are formed any time 
two celebrity are adjacent to each other in a sentence. Normally, you can only have one celebrity in a sentence. That is a hard and fast rule of Lojban. The, uh, the breedy that you make, these five here breedy, they're not sentences, they're called breedy, uh, must have only one celebrity. No, it's not two or more. It's two. Compound tanru just come from a tanru since a tanru is a celebrity. Tanru are always two. There's always only a cell tau and a ter tau. Really didn't want to have to mention all this stuff. I didn't want to mention compound tanru at all. But that's okay. Because tanru themselves are celebrity, which I was just about to get to. Uh, Breedy can only have one celebrity. Uh, so this might seem a little paradoxical. Uh, that a tanru happens when there are two celebrity together, but you can't have two celebrity in a sentence. We've determined that, or in a breedy, we've determined that. But a tanru itself is a celebrity, even though it's not a single word. This will be a little bit easier if I explain this here in a minute. Uh, what a celebrity, or what a tanru is, is a, a pair of celebrity, one of which modifies the other. And the easiest and most simple way to show you how this works is with this sentence right here. Et hunre zdani mi. What do you guys think this means? Hunre is red. Been over that. Red. And zdani is house. Et hunre zdani mi. There you go. This is my red house. This is a red house. Red house that houses me. I has red house. Very good. Very good indeed. All, all correct interpretations. That's the best part about Lushban. All different things you said, and they're all correct. There are some caveats to this. It's not exactly that simple, but you guys have it correct. This is a red house of mine. Now, Tanru happen anytime there are two celebrity next to each other. Okay? And a tanru in itself is a celebrity. So this is legal. This is a perfectly legal sentence. We, uh, w Although we have two celebrity together, they are mixed together into one celebrity. So this is still the celebrity for the breedy. So we're good grammatically. That's perfectly okay. And a tanru, which of course happens any time the two celebrity are adjacent. This is extremely important. Any time, any time. Okay. Um, the first portion of the Tanru modifies the second portion. In some way, there is redness involved in the houseness of this thing. Okay? This is where it gets a little bit more abstract. It's very simple for us in English to say, that is a red house, because it is automatically con uh, considered that the outside of the house is red. There is no such automatic connotation with Lojban. Similar to how we learned earlier that tense and plurality may be implied and in fact very vaguely stated, saying, Iti hunres danimi, this is a red house of mine, does not automatically mean that the outside of the house is painted red. It could mean that it is a house in which there are a large number of red things. Or someone who was fond of the color red used to live here 20 years ago. It could be extremely vague. It's probably not extremely vague, but it could be. And it's important that you guys understand that, that it is not automatically... It is not automatically the case that seems most obvious. It probably is, but it's not automatically that case. In some way that is relevant to the house, there is redness involved. Okay? In some way that is relevant to the houseness of what is being pointed at, there is redness involved. 
could be that the inside is red, could be that it has a red lawn. The color red is relevant to the house, but it is not automatically, as we might think with English, it is not automatically the outside. Could it just be the roof? Sure. Like I said, it could be a man that lives within the house that loves the color red. It literally could be that abstract if you really wanted it to. It's probably not. You're kind of a you're kind of a jerk if you say something like that in Lejbon. There are jerks in this language too. No, uh, see, there's see that red, strictly the color red, not like red as an angry. That's that's a little that's a little red faced maybe, but yeah, the automatic relationship will probably be the one that's correct, but not automatically. Uh, not always. It's very important to understand that. Otherwise, that's all there is to it. A, ta a tanru is two celebri, the left of which modifies the right. Uh, but no, nah, embarrassed, no, does that, see, that doesn't work. That's a little too obscure because it, it goes outside of the color red. It's not like, re it's, it has to literally be involved with the color. It's very strict about what it is and what it is not. Even if it's, even if what it is could be a trillion things, you definitely know what it is and definitely know what it's not. It's not embarrassed. It's not that you can't say it's red. It's literally the color that's involved somehow. And I use that word. I use the word literally. Correct. What's zdani chunre? That's a perfectly. You know, you could you can say that. You can say zdani chunre. This is housely red. In some, see, this is where it can get. This is perfectly legal, but it's also could be perfectly confusing. This thing right here. Now, what? Now, one thing I didn't really explicitly go over is that the place structure of a tanru is based off of the second part, the one that is modified. You guys kind of accepted that pretty freely, so let me go back to this here. This is a red house of mine. The place structure is inherited from this part, the right part, right here. So we could admit this, itis danimi, this is the house of mine, or you could put it in, iti hunre zdanimi, this is a red house of mine. Hunre zdanimi. Um, so the place structure is kept off of the second part. So if you were to say, itis dani hunre mi, this would be wrong because the word hunre only has one place. It's x1 is red. So that's actually nonsensical. You would have to get rid of this. This th and this would be this thing is red in a houseish kind of way. You could say this is red in a this is a shade of red that is similar to one that is used in houses a lot or something. Maybe. This thing is red in a way that is house-ish somehow. Kind of a weird phrase, but it's perfectly legitimate lojban. If, you're, if your listener knows what the hell you're talking about, that's all that matters. Iti zdani chunre. Perfectly legitimate. Uh, other uses of the uh, tanru construct. I will introduce the word merko, which is X1 is American. Uh, in aspect X2, which isn't really that important. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with X1 as American right now. So, uh, eat me Merco. I am American. Et Merco. This object here is Merkin. Pretty straightforward. How would you say uh, you? How would you say I am an American friend of yours? We know this is the word for friend. Friend, American. Don't be hating. Merco. American. How would you say? I am an American friend of yours. Imi pendo merco. Got it backwards. Imi merco pendo. Merco pendo. 
I am a oh, I am a an American friend of yours. In some way that is relevant to our friendship, I am American. Okay. I mi merco pendodo. Hope you guys are trying to pronounce this stuff as well. I mi merco pendodo. Merco pendodo. I tend to roll my R. Is it easier if I just say merco? Merco. I I, I like to roll my R's. But Merco Pendota. Maybe the friend that only likes American people. I am the friend of you and the Merco part is relevant to the X1. So I am the American. In some way that is relevant to our friendship, I am American. So I'm an American friend. Pretty straightforward, really. I am an American friend of you. Really, not much else to the Tanro. I eat hamburgers. You could. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Love that word. Any questions about Tanro? They are very simple. Yeah, that's about. Ionis, come on, you're better than that. Nelshishitka hamburger? No, come on. Don't do that to me. You're killing me here, bro. The most important part about this part of the lesson is to remember that a tanru happens any time that two celebrity are adjacent to each other in a sentence. How do you do more than two in a tanru? You just make more tanru. Um, I didn't want to go into the compound tanru thing, but tanru are celebrity. And they're also created anytime two celebri are adjacent to each other. So if you have a tanru and another celebri adjacent to each other, it's still another tanru. It's just deeper. I will be nice and explain this to you just because you asked. What would be a good example? Um... I got it. Et uh, manco. I think it was manco. 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 Hundre. Zdani. Me. Uh, this is a. Uh, manku, by the way, is dark. Khunre is red. Zdani is house. This is a dark red house of mine. Now, Tanru are interesting because they are formed from left to right. Which means that when you say something like this, let me actually clear some of this nonsense out here. It is the it it is the red that has darkishness in it, if that makes any sense. And it is the house that has darkish reddishness reddishness in it. Okay. So it, it it's like these have the parentheses around them. If that makes any sense. It is a darkish red house. The red is darkish, and the house is darkish reddish. If that makes any sense. So it's got an inheritance to it. And this is very important. I mean, it, this is actually really, really crucial when you're building Tanru, that you build them in this order. And this is the, and this is, and it's grouping. It's not necessarily describing. It, this is just a very convenient example because it translates well. But there are examples that are much less easy to automatically translate. So it's very important that you learn that it is the first word that modifies the second. 
no matter how many Tanru there are. So it is it is the red that has darkishness in it, and it is the house that has darkish reddishness in it. It's that's it 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 seems obvious, but it's not always going to be obvious when you get into more complicated words. All right, any questions about Tanru? We're kind of blitzing through this, but honestly, it's pretty easy stuff. There's really not that much that's complicated. I have one more lesson I want to get to, and then I'll let you guys go. All of my probably three viewers who are still here after my disconnect and all my ramblings. How many people are still watching? Twenty-five people still watching. Holy shit! I'm just gonna throw it out there. The first word modifies the second, and then the first and second modify the third. The first word modifies the second, and then that that unit then modifies the third. That whole thing modifies the third. I could use the pretty little girl school if I wanted to. 5.30 a.m. still here. You're crazy, man. You need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. Any questions about Tanru? We've learned a lot. Just do a very quick review. Breedy are relationships. Selbri are the words that set up the relationship. Sumti describe the relationship. You can have as many Sumti as you want, anywhere from zero to a bajillion. There are ways to add more Sumti, which you will get to later, if they're not allowed in the play structure. We also learned fa, fe, fi, fo, and fu. Five words that allow you to mess around with the play structures, ordering a little bit. And we learned about tanru, which are built anytime two celebrity are adjacent to each other, and they are also themselves celebrity. Very handy. So the last thing I want to teach is law. It's uh, I'm not all right. I'm just not. I'm not going to beat, beat around the bush. The word law very, very, very closely translates to the word a, or an, or some, but a is the easiest way to put it. I mean, it's 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 more or less that easy. No, not la. I'm not going to do la, because la has, sh I have to deal with shmevla then, and I don't want to, I don't want to deal with shmevla at all. <laughs> no, thank you. Just lo, and ku. Of course ku. Absolutely ku. Absolutely ku. Absolutely ku. Because we teach terminators here in the, uh, Cilantro Gamer slash uh, Kribasher uh, teaching program. Okay. Low. See, I just use the English pronunciation because I'm getting tired. Low. There we go. Is very, very, very similar to the word a. I mean, it really, it really is. It really is a pretty close translation to the word a. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you guys give you guys an example. Um, Imi tavla lo merco, and I'll get to why you need the coup here in a minute. Uh, so, what do you guys think that says? <clears throat> tavla is the word for speak. We've seen that before. Uh, X one speaks to X two, and merco is the word for American. So, what do you think? Imi tavla lo merco means. I talk to an American. Exactly. Very good. X2 of Tavla is the person you are talking to, the entity you are talking to. Lo merco ku is an American. Or some Americans. 500 Americans. 300,000 Americans. But probably just one. Or maybe two. Depending on how many you're actually talking to. Mi Tavla lo merco. Let me get a little bit more technical, but I want to give you guys a few more examples of this before I get too crazy into this, okay? What about this one? mi. What do you guys think this one means? We know the word hunre is red, and we know the word zdani is house. What do you think this one is? The red houses me. I love that. P. Miller 08, that is good. That is really good. You're correct as well, Mar Striker, but I love the way that you I love the way that you put that, P. Miller. 
the red houses me. I love that. That is great. That is thinking lojbonically already. I'm serious. I'm serious. That's, that's good. That's good. A red thing. You didn't even say thing. You said the red houses me. That's good. A red is closer. The word the has a certain connotation. There's another word that's similar to low, le, lo, le, um, which I'll come to later, but low is just very generic, so it's easier to teach first. Uh, so it's closer to a red house as me, but very good. Seriously, that's that's really, really good. I'm very proud of you. Uh, what about this? Y lo merco cu dunda lo hunre cu mi. What do you guys think about that? Actually, I'll even throw something else in. Instead of hunre, we're going to go for pelhu, which is the word for yellow. Pelhu is yellow. Pelhu, yellow. An American gives me a yellow. Hell yeah. Look at this. How long have I been teaching you guys Lojban? Like two hours. Two or three hours. Look at what you guys are deciphering already. This is amazing. I haven't even taught you how Lo and Ku actually work and you're deciphering it. I told you this language was super easy. You guys are amazing. Just blowing this stuff up. I don't even think I need to do any more examples. It's super easy. I mean, this is literally... I've I've taught you 80% of the grammar at this point. I'm dead serious. The, functionally, you guys know the grammar, more or less. I mean, there are some definitely... There's a lot to learn, but it's like nitpicky stuff compared to what you guys have already learned. This is it. This is the entirety of the grammar. Every... All you need... And, yeah... Ishohoken. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, you guys have already learned like the the vast majority of the functional grammar. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Y lo merco kudunda lo pelhu kumi. The American, an American, gave a yellow to me. A yellow, something. Let me go more into the specifics of how lo works. Lo is a word that starts a process of converting a salbri into a sumti. Ku is the word that stops that process. It's called a terminator. You can actually think of them as parentheses. I mean, really, that's pretty much how they work. Lo is the left parenthesis, and ku is the right parenthesis. It's really a pretty easy way to, 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 uh, to state it. So, lo begins the process of changing a celebrity into a sumti. Okay. Most specifically, it extracts the X1, the first position of that uh, celebri, and makes it into a sumti. Uh, so let's, I mean, let's let's break this down a little bit more technically. It's it's uh, it's what you've already done, but it's easier for me to explain the technicalities of it if I do it this way. So, uh, Merco is uh, is uh, X1 is an American, is is American, I should say. Because uh, it could be, you know, anything that's American. Um, so if we want to take the X1 position of that... Dude, Ionis, please don't throw more terminology in, bro. You're killing me. I don't want to... I don't teach Kismul or Smavo for a very long time because they're pointless, in my opinion. You're killing me here. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but... <laughs> I'm trying to avoid those because <laughs> it doesn't help at this point. It's all good. It's not going to... It's not going to, like, make the brains melt or anything, but... it's. I know it's, I know it's hard. I know it's hard uh, uh, to uh, not do that, because, trust me, I, I know. I, I do, but it's best that you don't. <laughs> shut up! No, I don't want to tell him to shut up. He's been very helpful. I appreciate it. It's just not... Uh, not something I wanted to mention yet. Uh, so, anyway. Okay, so, uh, lo takes the x1 lo takes the x1 of a celebrity uh, and makes it into a sumti. So what the, what is the x1 of uh, something that is merco? Well, it's an American. I mean, 
that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. So if the X1 of Merco is an American, then Lo Merco must be an American. Or a Amer an, not un American, but an American, right? Yes. I know what I'm talking about. So Lo Merco is un American. An American. If that makes any sense. Uh, so what about what about the word Dunda? X1 gives X2 to X3. What is lo dunda? Ku. Because we need ku to stop the process. Otherwise, we have no idea. We'll just keep... We'll eat all the... We'll eat all the uh, celebrity. We don't even care. We'll eat every single one of them. We'll just be like... Celebrity, just eating them up. A giver. Yes, that is correct. It is a giver. Very important. It is the X1, that which gives. It is a thing which gives. So Lodundaku is a giver. A giver. We're making new sumti. And yes, that's uh, it's worthy to point out. Lomerko is uh, uh, something that is American. It doesn't have to be person. Sorry. I was hoping that came through, but just in case it didn't, thank you for pointing that out. Seriously, that's good to have pointed out. So, lo dunda ku, a giver, one who gives, something that gives. Uh, tabla, x1 talks to x2 about x3 in language, x4, as my text file is growing too far. So, lo tabla is... Lo tavla is a speaker, one who talks. Right? Lo tavla ku, one who talks slash speaks. Um, so, and yeah, exactly. I was just about to get to that. What do you guys think about lo merco prenu? We'll introduce prenu, which is person. X1 is a person. X1 is a person. Or how about how about this? How about just do this? Let's do this. Lo perhu, which we learned is yellow. Yellow. Lo perhu zdani. What's this? <laughs> no, ma ma manku is dark. Merko is American. <laughs> dark person. No, I'm not being racist here. A dark person. Yes, a yellow house. Very good. So if I were to say, I lo merco kudunda lo pelhus dani kud lo fraso ku, and the word fraso means French, what the hell did I just say? I bet you guys could piece this out. This is a long sentence, but you got this. Merco equals American. We know what dunda means. We've seen it about a trillion times. Fraso is French. What does that mean? Lo merco cu dunda lo pelhus dani cu lo fraso cu. Somebody send me IMs. Yes! Yes! An American gives a yellow house to a French thingy. Yes! That is somebody I am me in here on aim. Done! Look at that! I mean seriously. That's exactly what it says. An American gives a yellow house to a French something. Probably a person. An American person probably gives a yellow house to a French person. Probably. Could be the government. I don't know. Context will deliver. But, you know, we're making up a story here. It could be a company. Exactly. There you go. I told you it's awesome. I've been spouting this thing for forever. I told you Lojban's amazing. I knew you guys would like it. That's it. That's, that is literally the, I mean, the uh, a huge portion of the grammar. Huge portion of the grammar. That's, that is a giant portion of it. So lo starts the process of converting 
celebrate into Sumti. I want to stress this again. I know we're, I know we're we're celebrating in our in our victory here, but I want to make sure you guys get the technicalities of it because they they become more important as you learn more. There's still a lot to learn. I mean, you guys have learned. It's it's kind of paradoxical to say you've learned almost everything you need to know when there's still a ton that you don't know. Uh, but I mean, functionally, this is the 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 biggest part of the grammar. So the word lo is greedy and will eat every single. Um, it will eat every single celebrity it sees. It will eat all of the tanru that it sees in front of it. Every last celebrity it sees. Until its buddy Ku says, Whoa, buddy, hold up. You've had enough, man. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we need. You don't need to eat anymore, bro. You've, had, you've hit your limit. No need to eat anything else. So Lo starts the process of converting up. Ku shuts it down. Just backs it down a little bit. Brings it down a little bit. I lo merco ku dunda lo pelchus dani ku lo frasoku. Can you guys pronounce that? I actually want you guys to take a minute to try to pronounce that. I, and try the O thing, remember? O. I lo merco ku dunda lo pelchus Zdaniku lo frasoku. Try it slowly, it should work out. Stephen Lytle wants to know how you say a big red house. That is a good question. I will answer that before I go. It's uh it requires advanced uh, slightly more advanced stuff. Um uh, but I will answer that in a minute. Say like quit eating stuff. No, I'm not gonna try to make him say that. Uh, but that is actually very good, Stephen Lytle. Big, well, it would. If you just said, um, uh, if you just said, let me go back over here. I lo barda, or, sorry. I ti barda hunre zdani. Barda, barda. I feel like I'm rolling my R's. It, sound, it makes it sound more cool. It sounds more exotic. Barda is the word for large. Large. Uh, this is kind of a problem, because it's very easy to say, oh, shit, this is an easy sentence. It means, this is a big red house. As in, it is big and red. No, 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 no. I'm putting so many no's there off of the... Page. No, 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 no. It is the red that is big, which makes no sense. You can't have a red that is big, kind of. It's the redness that's big. You're taking a color and making it physically large. It is incompatible. It is complete nonsense. The red is somehow big. does not make any sense at all. Complete garbage complete garbage. We fix that via a word that I really didn't want to teach you, but thankfully it's fairly simple. It is grammatically correct, but it's semantically nonsense. The meaning is garbage. You would want to say iti barda jehunre zdani. Je is one of, I think, seven or eight words that means and. There's a lot. Of, how many words are there that means and? There's e, ke, je, kihe, kuhe, I'm forgetting some. I've got to be forgetting some. Joy kind of means and. Kind of. But I'm, I'm talking like logical and, which is these five. Oh, there's got to be more. I'm probably forgetting some. Is this really it? i got to be forgetting some. Anyway, je is the word that you want. This means that it, this is both a barda zdani and a hunre zdani. So this changes the word. This is something I really didn't want to teach, like I said, but this means that this is both a barda zdani and a hunre zdani. Bardas dani and hunres dani. That's what the word je does.
Okay. Am I speaking less about a Russian accent? No, I'm speaking it how I normally do, actually. I, I try to un-Americanize my Lojban as much as I can, just as a personal flair. I really like rolling my R's, honestly. I think it makes the language sound so much cooler. It sounds It sounds way cooler to me if I don't roll my R's. Or if I roll my R's, I should say. Khunrezdani. Okay. We went over pronunciation. We went over celebri and sumti, which are used to make bridi. We, made, we found our bridi separator, which is E. We have our breedy separator. We have learned about tanru. We've learned about lo and ku, which is a way to convert celebri into sumti. Very handy. And we had a lot of fun doing it. Does anybody have any questions about what I learned or anything else before I hang it up for the evening? Cause I'm getting pretty tired. I'm going to play a game of Han with my buddies here real quick. And probably go to bed after that. Did it make sense? Was it as easy as I told you it was going to be? And I think I might teach again tomorrow because it's a lot of fun. I want to teach more. I want to teach the whole whole damn language. Oh, Vlasisku. Vlasisku. Uh, what time will we teach tomorrow? I don't know. Follow me here on Lojbo and I'll... I'll let you know. Probably roughly the same time. Easier than I thought it would be. I told you, it's easy. I mean, it really is. It's not, and I, I didn't really, I mean, I'm teaching you in a very specific way, but I'm not really pulling any punches. I mean, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm dodging around something that's hard. I'm dodging around technicalities that don't matter. I'm still teaching you how to speak, which is good. Vlasisku, I think is which one. I can also here. Let me just let me just link you these. List of uh, celebrity. Some celebrity. Main problems are grammatical errors and so yeah. If you're Portuguese, I mean, honestly, I'm sure the I'm sure the language, the actual speaking part of it's pretty easy. So there's one word I want to leave you guys with. One word I will leave you guys with, which I've already said before, and that's shoho. Shoho. Make sure you get that. Oh, correct. Shoho. Sounds so. Ugh. God, it sounds bad. Shoho. Show ho. God, that's horrible. Stupid English. Show ho. Means goodbye. Show ho, Tadni. Goodbye, students. Imi pramido. I love you. Imi pramido. Imi jisha lo no mi shado. I'll go into that here later, but it means I desire to teach you. Seriously, go watch some go watch some Lojban videos on YouTube and find find all the people who say Shoho Rodo. It sounds so bad. God, it sounds awful. I just want to stab my eyes out and eat them, and then shit those out and eat the shit too. <laughs> Sorry about my language, but oh god, it hurts so bad to hear it. Oh man, I'm glad people care about the language and want to try, but just oh my god, <laughs> just thinking about it just. Can't handle it. You should say you should say shoho seal. That's actually seal. Seal cilantros cilantros shoho cilantros. Shoho Dadni. Dadni. Goodbye, students. Thanks for watching tonight. Appreciate it. I'll definitely be teaching tomorrow or soon ish. 
my super awesome notepad of awesome. PC guys.